Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode where I want to be addressing the elephant in the room, and that is, well, networking. Specifically Wi-Fi 7, which is the new technology, compared to the Wi-Fi 6 in Wi-Fi 6E of, well, yes, the year. Yeah, it doesn't sound that dramatic because, well, obviously Wi-Fi 7 is the new kid on the block and of course you'll have to pay a premium for it, but does it actually provide you with enough perks to justify, well, this expensive purchase? Yes, for today's video, I am going to be using an Asus product that I have bought with my own money, so there's no sponsorship involved here and how could it be when I bashed Asus so much around the block these days that, well... I never know where the end is gonna be. But anyway, the Wi-Fi capabilities of this Asus router are definitely really, really good. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the capabilities of the new Wi-Fi 7 using this router because, well, this is the only Wi-Fi 7 capable router that I have. Wi-Fi 7 is here, promising crazy speeds, lower latency, and improved performance. But is this just overhyped or should you actually consider upgrading? Let's break it down in, well, simple terms. Instead of connecting your device to just one band, Wi-Fi 7 can use, well, multiple bands simultaneously, like the 5 GHz and the 6 GHz at the same time. This is called multi-link operation, and it basically helps you get more stable connections and better speeds, especially in busy, well, environments. Wi-Fi 7 also doubles on the maximum channel width from 160 MHz to 320 MHz, so it can carry twice as much data. Assuming, of course, your device actually supports it. There's also the 4096 QAM up from 1024 QAM in the Wi-Fi 6 technology, which basically allows you to pack more information into each transmission. Again, the key is whatever your device can actually handle this. You've probably seen the massive speed numbers on the router boxes, like the 6800 here, or the 19 gigabits or 24 gigabits advertised. That's the total potential across all bands. So a single device won't, of course, hit that entire figure. Your real-world internet speed is determined, first of all, by your ISP plan. So the device you're using and, of course, also how far you are from the router. Even with the new Wi-Fi 7 router, you'll need a laptop, phone, TV that's Wi-Fi 7 capable to get, of course, the full advantage of the system. So what does the Wi-Fi 7 actually do for you right now? Well, if you have gigabit plus internet, lots of devices, or do heavy tasks like, I, I don't know, watching 4K or 8K streaming, uh, VR gaming or large file transfers, it can be a worthwhile and justified investment. If you're on a Wi-Fi 6 and your plan is under 1 gigabits though, you might not notice a huge difference, at least not right away. Over time, of course, more devices will adopt Wi-Fi 7 and that's when, well, these features will really shine. Because you're gonna pay the price of admission to basically future-proof yourself as much as possible. Keep in mind, of course, that not all the routers do come with all the same extras. Some might offer multiple 5 gigahertz band plus a 6 gigahertz bandwidth, Others might just stick with one 5 gigabits band and a 6 gigahertz band alongside with the old but reliable by now 2.4 gigahertz. And there, of course, there are the mesh systems which take advantage of this multiple bandwidth to basically use one as a communication bandwidth designed to talk between the nodes in the network so that you don't experience any sort of loss and thus having a separate backlog from what's happening between your network anyways. But of course, there's a simpler way of doing things still, which is bulletproof and just run wires between the nodes, and that way you'll, you'll keep your congestion to a minimum and use that priceless feature MLO, multi-link operation, between all of your devices all the time. Speaking of which, of course, let's talk about this advanced feature like the multi-link operation that might require certain, you know, router models or even firmware updates down the road, so always check the specs before, you know, buying a router. So what is this MLO? Basically, you take your 5 GHz bands and your 2.4 GHz band and you combine them together for your device that is, of course, compatible, so that way you get a lot more bandwidth available for you and thus for you get more internet speed on your phone for those Instagram Reels. This is a pretty nice piece of tech because you can use your device as long as it is compatible with MLO to just take advantage of more bandwidth for free. So instead of just jumping in between the bands, depending on how far away you are from the router, if you are close enough to your point, then that node will basically allow you to have reached your maximum speed uh, depending on will the type of bandwidth that you are using. And that's pretty cool because that node will now allow you to basically have seamlessly access to your full bandwidth as much as possible. 
Another very nice feature of the Wi-Fi 7 network is, well, many high-end routers also include this so-called link aggregation, which basically means that you can now combine two one gigabit internet connections into a single faster link if your ISP allows it. So imagine this, you live in an area where your ISP can only provide you with one gigabit and that the actual top of the speed that it can provide you with. Well, you can have yourself two contracts made with that ISP serving you basically two separate one gigabit uh, internet connections that you can basically mash together in your router. This, of course, isn't an option available on every router. So again, pay attention to the details. Wi-Fi 7 also makes mesh networks simpler and more robust. It's now easier to add another extra router or node to expand the coverage without losing too much speed. And that's a big deal for larger homes or environments. That's in fact and in part due to the fact that they're using 6 GHz as a band and also because they increased the bandwidth from 160 to 320. A quick reality check. Early adoption of the Wi-Fi 7 can come of course with a hefty premium price tag, which might be a hard pill to swallow. But like most new tech, that's often the price of early admission. Whether or not it's worth it, well, actually depends on how demanding your internet use is, how quickly you plan to upgrade your devices, and of course, how much you're willing to spend. In the end though, Wi-Fi 7 is a significant leap forward in wireless networking. Offering, of course, faster speeds like you would expect, lower latency, also like you would expect, and more reliable performance, which is quite a leap away from Wi-Fi 6, especially for, you know, the power users. If you're looking to stay on the cutting edge and avoid another upgrade soon, this could be well worth it for you. Otherwise, it might just pay to wait until more devices and more affordable routers actually hit the market. If you're interested in the capabilities and if I'm happy with this Asus Wi-Fi 7 router that I have right here, this is the BE6800 dual band router from Asus. I think it is quite a power hog and I definitely plan to include it in my future upgrade when I'm going to do a mesh networks on the Wi-Fi 7 and I plan to include it as a node on that network. But overall, I'm really, really happy with its performance and with its range and with the speeds that it gets me. And even though I'm only rated for one gigabit, I could as well use this router to get another one gigabit contract and basically merge it with my existing one and have a two gigabit wireless network available to me to use at my house. So yes, I did pay a hefty price for this. It was around 300 euros, but at the moment it makes me really happy because it really runs well. It does have a lot of features. And even though I bashed Asus a lot with their Zephyr G16 back there, link up here if you don't know what I'm talking about, this one right here seems to be a solid piece of tech that I pretty much enjoy. If you want to see more about this guy, drop me a comment down in the box below and I might just do a separate video on it. Thank you guys for choosing to watch another of my videos. You've been absolutely amazing. And until the next one, guys, peace out and stay safe. And until the next one, guys, you know what to do. Stay informed, price around, stay awesome and see you in the next one.